Wheel brakes. Oh, what did Q? I don't know what Q just did. I accidentally hit Q. Oh, parachute, parachute. Oh, we're yawn, we're yawn. All right, parachute. I think we may have damaged the aircraft. <laughs> Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. And today, we're rocking out in DCS? World? Digital Combat Simulator? For those of you unfamiliar, there are a bunch of modules in DCS that you can buy. The game itself is free, and it comes with the SU-25 and the TF-51, I believe. Free ones that you get, um, so you can kind of dip your feet in, get your toes wet, dip your toes in, get your feet wet, and see if it runs okay on your machine, see if you enjoy playing the game. Anyway, all that is to say, I've been playing a flight sim, and I figured I'd, I don't know, bring you guys along, see if anything is interesting or, or fun. I've been going through the training modes, primarily on my SU-25. So I guess let's just jump into this. I've gone through these kind of more basic ones. You'll just see how it goes. Typically the way these work with the weapons, it'll teach you how the weapon works. You'll, you'll fly through a scenario where it'll set up some targets for you. And, and once you kill the targets or, or do enough damage, whatever, it's like, okay, you can quit now if you want, or it'll just let you keep going. So what I've been doing is navigating back to base and landing after that, just to get that extra practice. Landing a real aircraft is not a trivial uh, thing to do. So anyway, we'll just kind of go through it. All right, so if you're not aware, the Su-25T Frogfoot, that's the NATO name for the Russian Su-25, the Russian analog to the A-10, essentially. The way these tutorials work, they kind of talk you through what you want to do, and then they hand you over uh, the controls so you can see how it goes. All right, so it's going to talk Enter us through these gun pods with an aircraft, as you can imagine. Activate it's, the gun. Even though my C. HOTAS has a lot of buttons on it, you still need quite a few keyboard commands to do that. Weapon status panel. You'll see that we have four wing stations loaded. Each of these weapon status a panel is down here. You will also know that we have a full ammunition load indicated by the K. Press the space bar to continue. See, so that's what it's talking about as far as the weapons panel. Let's take a look at the Weapon Systems Control Panel in the bottom left corner of the front dash. To the salvo position, that would the be size this. switch is set to 1. In this setting, just the internal 30mm cannon is used. Okay, here we go. So, 2, set, and depress the gun pods down there. I'm also going to adjust my trim because I'm trimming up. Okay, is that a target right there in the smoke? <laughs> Whiffed! I have to come around again. I don't have a head tracker yet. <laughs> I wanted to play around this a little bit to see if that was worth the investment before I do that. Uh, so right now I have to use my hat switch to look around and I have a button uh, set to reset my view. Those look like hits. Ooh, I think I'm taking hits. Sounds like something's broken on my plane. <laughs> Do I have any warning indicator lights or anything like that? I don't know. I don't appear to be accelerating as... Well, I think that's... I think my performance is about normal. I'm not sure what I'm hearing. <laughs> Doesn't sound good, though. Those look like they should have been hits. Not so much. One thing that does take getting used to versus playing, like, arcade flying games is you can't just like, crank on the stick and pull, like, 85 Gs because it'll break the aircraft or black you out. <laughs> Alright, I see you there. Just have to get a good zoom there. I'm juggling all these buttons to look around. It's like I got quarter. 
three quarters, so I still got some ammo left. But the target smoke wore out, but it's still on the runway. I know where it is. <sighs> Not doing great here. <laughs> Did I lose track of where I was coming around? Uh, sorry, where's my target? <laughs> Hello? That's an airfield, is that? No, there it is. Okay, that, that strip right there. Come on, bro. Am I out of ammo? Yeah, I can move my mouse look around a little easier. Yeah, looks like I'm out. So can I switch back to my internal cannon? Does that... Yeah. My internal cannon has a little bit of ammo left. <laughs> Alright, let's really line it up. <laughs> I think that's the best I got. <laughs> where are my rockets? God damn it. Oh, where am I? I still got ammo. Alright, let's go hard. So there's my over G warning if I'm pulling too hard. I'm not going to give myself much time on this one because of how hard I pulled around. Oh dear! <laughs> Woo, that was spicy. That was spicy. Three quarters. Alright, so I still got ammo. Alright, let's get some altitude. Alright. I'm gonna keep some altitude before I come in here. Because I'm diving at a high rise. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh man, there's some hits. Alright. 14% damage. Alright, let's hit the gas and pull up. I've I've hit him! <laughs> I've hit him and I've got half of my gun ammo left about. If I pull harder, I'm gonna lose more of my airspeed. Although as I come around, as long as I still have my altitude, I wanna burn some of that airspeed, so let's go to idle throttle. Cause as we come down, we're gonna gain a lot of speed. Zoom in a little bit. See where that guy is right there. More hits. 54% damage. <laughs> and we're out of ammo. <laughs> Alright, well I didn't destroy the thing, but I hit it. <laughs> I think he hit me. Cause I hear something banging around back there. I did get hit. Uh, but we're gonna switch navigation to return mode. And head back to the airfield. We're 12 miles out, actually. We're really close to the airfield, it seems. That was that other airfield I was seeing, huh? Or is it bringing... Okay, so that's that's the airfield over there. Alright, so it's bringing me in. So I'm actually on a good... A good path here. When I drop below about 400 knots, there in the top left... I'm going to put my flaps. There we go. Drop my flaps. Oh! Okay. I was like, I almost didn't get two flap lights. I was like, maybe that's what I lost is a flap. 330 knots. Target 290. Not bad. The aircraft is flying sideways. The aircraft is flying sideways. <laughs> Which is, uh, indicates either damage or a high crosswind. It does feel like either a crosswind or some damage, because I am tracking relatively towards the runway, although aimed off off bore sight. Let's see. Here we go. I'm gonna go to neutral throttle here. Try to flare it a little bit so I don't hit too hard. I am a little bit off center of the runway here. Come on, nice gentle touchdown. Parachute! To slow me down. 
That was not the best landing in the world. But I think I might be damaged, so let's drop the parachute. <laughs> what is banging around back there? <laughs> I am definitely listed to one side. Alright, let's get this thing parked and take a look. Uh, let's go park over by that plane over there. What do you say? What is that? <laughs> we're going... We're taxiing on the ground. Let's open the cockpit. Enjoy the fresh air. Fresh, crisp Russian air, maybe? Well, it's tough during the holiday season finding a good place to park your frog foot. Oh, there's that aircraft. All right. Let's go that way. Just right across the tarmac. It's fine. Is that an Antonov? That's an Antonov, and that is the largest aircraft in the world. Let's go park my little frog foot next to that big old bitch. Am I on some bad terrain? I seem to be stuck. I guess I can't go over there. Or something. Full throttle. It's not moving. Alright, this is where I shall stay. Bring the throttles all the way down. We will shut our engines off. Go ahead and turn off the electronics. Let's see if that's the engine making that noise. I'm stationary. Whatever that noise is should stop when the engines stop. Because that's the only thing left moving on the aircraft. Alright, let's hop out into the outside view and see if we can see what the fuck it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my flap got fucked up. Alright, I didn't lose both my flaps on this side, but that bad boy got mangled. Oh, I took, sh I took bullet holes through the wing. Okay. I got back. That that engine's still turning. My other engine didn't die, did it? Here, let me... We made it home! Against a single enemy that was shooting at us, but, uh... And then the only way that you finish getting it out of an aircraft... Eject! 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 Huh? Ugh, oh, worth it. There you are, Froggy. There you are, Frogfoot. Booyah. Take a look at her. Take a look at the housing for my left engine and see if it's got holes in it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She took... She took some damage there, don't you know? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's some damage. All right. So this will be my first foray into guided munitions. And this is where it kind of gets into more of the cool simulator stuff of not just operating the aircraft, but operating the weapon systems. The first thing I'll ask you to do is enter air to ground mode by pressing seven. Do that now. There we go, air to ground. Now that we're in air to ground mode, we need to activate the Schwalz sensor in the nose of the aircraft. The Schwalz sensor image is displayed Schwalz. on the IT23N TV display that dominates the right side of the front deck. Does it? Turn on the Schwal by pressing O now. Let's talk a little bit about the symbols you see on the Schwal display. Well, look at that. The we got the TV? Side of the display are scales and try increasing the target frame size by pressing right control in right bracket. Now try decreasing the size of the target frame by pressing right oh. control in left bracket. Uh -huh. the sensor to the right end of the airfield and locate one of the two tanks. You may wish Tank to select 23x way. magnification by pressing the equal sign. When the sensor is within range, it will automatically lock up the target, and the KC indication will be replaced by an well, AC indication. Well, 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 there you lesson. are. Press the spacebar to continue. Yeah, seems pretty locked in on it. Um, between the carrots, I think I can launch, huh? Maybe not. Will I hear a tone? I don't seem to have received my indication. Try 
and do this without crashing the plane. to fire this time? I think I'm inside min range now. Why don't I get to fire? What am I doing wrong? Apparently, I have to hold the trigger for a couple of seconds for it to fire. So let's try this again. Low on fuel, I'm guessing. Alright, so it seems to have locked in on it. Hold. There we go. That, that let go. <laughs> I gotta just hold it for a second, okay. See that missile hit. Boom! Nice job. We now. Nice job. We now have a Cat 500 AR guided box. This has much less range than the KH 2019, as indicated by the much smaller maximum range bar. We learned in this lesson to lock the second tank on the Schwal and engage it with a Cat 500 KR guided bomb. Shit! Ain't no thing! Ain't no thing. Let's get him. Oh, locked in. All right. There's those two green bars on the left there. Once we get in between, there's the fire notification. Held it. Dropped. Let's see if it's gonna show on the camera. Oh, lost it. <laughs> Uh, did it hit? Did I drop it? It says, it seems to say I still have it. Maybe it didn't drop. Alright, so it's locked in there. Wait until we come into the window. So I'm going to start holding the fire button before we come into that window so it can just drop when it's ready. Holding now. I don't know if it released. Yep, looks like it released. It's no longer ind indicated on the aircraft. It's got to hit somewhere, right? Let's come in here and do a BDA. Are those where it struck? Strike short? Maybe. Either way, I'm out of munitions. Time to RTB, because I'm a failure. <laughs> but I know how it works now, although I apparently wasn't great with that. So let's go ahead and turn my TV off. Set nav mode back to base. Oh, there's the, there's the airfield ahead of us now, but it's still turning us. Alright. Is that low fuel? No. I, don't I don't know what this warning is, but it sounds bad. Alright, 
Выпусти шасси. Выпусти шасси. Выпусти шасси. The approach indicator. We're not coming in super straight, but we can straighten that out. Air brake. Slow us down to set us down. Little flare, nice and easy. Booyah. Wheel brakes. Oh, what did Q? I don't know what Q just did. I accidentally hit Q. Parachute, parachute, oh, we're yawn, we're yawn, all right, parachute. I think we may have damaged the aircraft. <laughs> Drop the parachute. It's shaking, <laughs> she's, she's shaking, shaking something first. I am not I am. I don't know what we did. Did we come down hard? Did we break the gear? Ugh. She's riding a little rough. She's not steering very well. Which indicates damage to the gear, perhaps. Get that cockpit open. Let's take a look at her. My air brakes are still up. Maybe that's maybe that's why I was having trouble. Because I have my air brakes open. Oh nope. Definitely shredded the front gear. Must have come down a little too hard. Let's shut the engines off. Kill the electronics. Ah. A job well done. Alright, minions. Hopefully, you enjoyed some of me failing at some basic flying. Um, as I get more training and get into like some actual missions and stuff, we'll go through that and see some me trying to actually do more than fail at training, but... If you enjoyed that, give me a like. If you didn't enjoy that, you guys can give me a dislike. If you want to see something else kind of simulation-y, I do actually have some videos um, that I posted of like some Ferrari porn from when I was playing some Gran Turismo 7. Um, I like simulation racers. I like simulation flying. I like simulation games kind of in general when it's like operating a piece of machinery. So I'll put a link to that Gran Turismo video in the end card. Um, subscribe if you guys want more from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.